Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Welcome to my Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is my home. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, we need to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer. And remember, if you don't have sanitizer, that's okay. You can use soap and water. Let's start by rubbing inside, around our hands, in between our fingers, on our wrists, and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be doing cutting, pasting, coloring, and matching. Now, boys and girls, we are going to start our lesson. To start our lesson, I would like you to please turn to page 27. On page 27, we are going to be doing an activity where we have to find out what we do at home and what we do at school. The pictures that you can see need to be cut and then you will paste them in the two different boxes. What you do at home, please paste in the box that says home. And then what you do at school, you are going to put it in the box that says school. Now, boys and girls, we always need to remind each other that a pair of scissors is very dangerous. Please only use it when you need to and in the presence of an adult. Once you are done cutting your pictures, put the pair of scissors away. It is not a toy. So once you have your pictures, like I have cut mine on the board, you're going to put them in the two boxes. This one says at home. So I'm going to put what we do at home here. Then this one says at school. The first picture that I cut out is of someone sleeping. Now they are sleeping very soundly in the bed and it looks like they're having a good restful night. When we sleep, do we sleep at home or do we sleep at school? Well, because there is a bed, we know that we sleep at home. We do not have beds at school. So I'm going to stick or paste it here in the box that says at home. The next one I want us to do is of someone reading. They are reading a book and they are concentrating as they are reading. Do we do most, most of our reading at school or at home? If you said at school, well done! That's where all the books are. So we're going to paste it at school. The next one that we have is of a boy who is brushing his teeth. He has his toothbrush and a glass of water in his hand. Do we brush our teeth at school or at home? If you said at home, good job. So we're going to put and paste it there. 
The next one that we have is of a boy who is enjoying his delicious breakfast. He has eggs, he has sausage, and he is really enjoying himself. Where do we have breakfast? Do we have breakfast at home or at school? If you said at home, good job, well done. The next one that we can see is a boy playing with a ball. He is part of a soccer team and he is kicking the ball to his soccer teammates. Do we play soccer at school or at home? I think we play soccer at school because that's where our team would be at school. The last one we see is of a boy carrying a bag. He looks like he's on his way somewhere. So when we carry a bag on our back and going somewhere, are we going to school or do we do this at home? If you said going to school, good job. Now we know that we have put our pictures in the correct boxes. So I'd like you to do the same. Remember to use your glue very carefully and to put away your scissors when you are done. Then after that, I'd like you to please go to the next page, which is page 29. On page 29, we have some coloring to do, but not just using any colors, boys and girls. We have been told which colors to use. So let us discuss each and every one of the colors so that you know which color you have to use. Let's start with the color purple. The first house needs to be colored the color purple. The word purple looks like this. So if you're going to color with the color purple, you know that it looks like this and the color purple also looks like our number three in the classroom. The next house, which is under the one you're going to color purple is the one that you're going to color blue. Now the word blue looks like this and you're going to use blue like the counters that we have on the table. They are also blue. The next house that you're going to color, which is the one under the one that is blue, is going to be colored yellow. So the word yellow looks like this. And you're going to use yellow, like our truck. The next house that you're going to color is the color brown. That's the one that's underneath the one for yellow. And you can use brown like the color of this house. This house has been colored brown. The word brown looks like this. Now we're going back to the top and there is one house that you need to color orange. So the word orange looks like this and you have to color that house orange like the pair of scissors. Then after that, the house under, the house that we're going to color orange is a house that we have to color green. You can use the green and green looks like this in a word. Green like the chalkboard. Yes, well done. So please use green for that house. The next house that is under the one that you're going to color for green will be colored red. Now red looks like this when we're looking for the word red. And red can be the color of the hashtag. Yes, that is red. Then the last house that you're going to color, which is the one underneath, will be the color pink. This is pink and the word pink looks like this. You're going to color your house pink, just like some of these houses here that are colored pink. 
So take your time with the coloring. Make sure that an adult can help you read the words so that you don't color the house the wrong color. Take your time with this one and when you're done, you can move on to the next page, page 30. On page 30, we have a very simple task. We are being asked to match the similar objects in the line. So basically where you see a table, match it with the line to the other table. Where you see a door, match the door to the other door on the other side using a nice straight line. Where you see a window, look for the other window. Where you see a sofa or a couch, look for that sofa or couch on the other side. And then where you see a tree, you must link the tree by matching it to the other tree using a nice straight line. This one is very easy and I know it will not take you too much time. So have fun, my dear friends, with all the exercises. Know your colors and make sure when you cut, cut neatly. I will see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 81 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. I know I did. Remember, if you don't know what to do, that's okay. You can always ask for help. Just make sure you end up finishing your activities by yourself. Now that we are done with our lesson, we need to make sure our hands are sanitized. If you don't have sanitizer, you can use soap and water. We will start by rubbing inside around our hands, in between our fingers, on our wrists, and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I wonder though, I haven't seen Sashi the whole day and I want him to help us to sing goodbye. Sashi, Sashi, oh! <laughs> There you are, Sashi. Are you ready to say goodbye to our friends? Wonderful. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Bye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirket Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.